tonight on 88.1 FM, WHPR, Detroit, Holland Park. Everybody around the city, stand up, represent your hood, your business, okay? Um, call us, feel free to call in at 313-868-3688 or log on to the show at WWFM. 881whpr.com and remember if you um, need to get in contact with us, leave us any messages, any topics you would like us to talk about on the next shows coming up um, give us a um, shout on Facebook, okay, Facebook slash Kelly Kitchen, okay, um, we got like I told you, every week starting 2011, we're going to bring you a hot show, we're going to bring you um, our independent business owners um, all of our celebrities that we have here, it's not just in Hollywood we got celebrities here in Detroit, in our own city, okay, um, we also I told you that we're going to definitely be touching and talking about support and unification here in the city, okay, but uh, we're going to start the show off with my first gift, the one and only most beautiful lady here in Detroit doing the hair thing, Miss Tamisha Lachey, what's up babe, welcome to the kitchen Hi, I'm happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Thank you for being here. What's going on? How you feeling, Zee? I'm feeling wonderful. I'm feeling really good today. I've taken my vitamins and done okay. all of the uh, foundational things to okay. keep me healthy and yeah, yeah. energetic, and I'm happy to be here. That's what it is, okay? Everything mm -hmm. happens without, okay? Nothing happens without God, right? That's first. That's Absolutely. right, for real. Um, again, thank you for coming to the show, and uh, why don't you let our listeners know who to Tamisha Lachey is. Okay, well, uh, Tamisha Lachey is a small business owner who uh, got in the beauty industry at age 12. Um, I did acrylic nail services. I did those services at Michigan State University. I was known for airbrushing and acrylic nail services. Okay. Um, I lost my grandfather, and then I had to come back home. Okay. Uh, after... After I lost my grandfather, the next big thing I did was um, Miss Detroit pageant. That's where I, I guess I did a little bit of modeling. Okay. Um, after I was crowned Miss Detroit 97, I did a little print work, uh, worked mm -hmm. for some hairstylists um, and hair magazines and things of that nature. Uh, after that, I went to esthetician school in 2000 and learned the art of skin care. Um, okay. The acrylic chemicals became to be a bit much for me, so okay. when I transferred into skin care, it was a lot easier on me using foods and herbs and, and all natural things. I'm able to help bring out a clear complexion and clear up a lot of skin issues for people. So. Okay. I, I have a question. Um, what's the difference? Um, and maybe I might be asking this question for a lot of different people who don't know. What's the difference between doing regular nails and acrylic? Um, well, now that I'm I'm limited to all natural nails, um, there's just no covering. So uh, okay. to prevent splitting and breaking of the nails, I end up buffing with essential oils and doing things to recondition the nails and make them a little more resilient. Okay. Um, with the covering, whether you're using nail wraps, acrylic, uh, gel, um, it just seems to weaken the natural nails to me, and okay. um, it, they're, na they're nail appendages. They're not uh, tools. They're not pop can openers and, right. and things of that nature, um, but they're a little bit more resilient when they're natural and buff with essential oils. They don't crack and split as much. Okay, now I'm going to go back a little bit. Um, you was up in Mich at Michigan State, you said, right? Mm -hmm. So I know you was, you was, you was, you was, you was getting, getting some of that green up there, weren't wow. you? Wow. Uh, that blew my mind. I, I was making something like $300 a day in Shaw Hall, doing acrylic nails only. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was a mind job. <laughs> so you have a large following. So is that where your large following started there in college? I would have to say it was amazing that we didn't have to do much marketing there. Word of mouth. Okay. Um, and we, we did pretty good with supporting our own there. Okay. Mm -hmm. We need to do more of that here in the city. Okay. okay. Um. Now, what all shops have you worked at? You know, what was your first um, fir shop? The first place, uh, I graduated from esthetician school. You mean my first shop with the nail? Yes. I believe it was called Hair and Nails to Go. Uh, there was a young lady by the name of Yasmin Giles who owned it. And um, she would come to my mom's house and get the acrylic nail services upstairs, and she okay. talked me into working for her. Okay. And it was an experience. Uh, we did the hair shows, Hair on the River and okay. all that. I'm, I'm really a low-key personality, and okay. by me going more into the spa, I'm, I'm more on my own vibration. I don't, okay. 
I don't really like being watched, but I'm working it out here with you, Kelly. Yeah, yes, you are. Yes, you are. You're doing good. You're doing okay. good. Um, where um, did you get your inspiration from? As far as um, my aunt. My aunt trained me to do acrylic nails when I was 12 years old. She said I had to learn a trade. Okay. And I was confused. I was wondering, <laughs> what am I going to have to give up? A trade? <laughs> and um, then she began uh, teaching me the art of the application of acrylic nails, okay. nail tips, wraps, and, and um, a nail art and all of that. And uh, she gave me all of my products. And that that's when I began um, my first small business, age 12, with acrylic nails. That's what's up. That's big. That's big. Okay. Okay, we're going to slide into a song. We're going to be right back and, and, and with more history with Tamisha Lachey, okay? We'll be back here in the kitchen live on 88.1 FM WHPR, Detroit Home Park. Stand up. It's going down right here in the kitchen. It's getting hot up in here, okay? It's going to get hot a little bit later, okay? It's going down. Remember, log on to the show at wwwfm 881whprcom We'll be back. Peace. We're back here live in the kitchen on 88.1 FM WHPR, Detroit Home Park. It's going down right here in the kitchen. Look, call in. Feel free to call in, okay? We want to hear your questions. We want to hear about what you got to say. Speak your mind right here on the kitchen, 313-868-3688, or log on to us at www.fm881whpr.com. And be back here in the kitchen with the one known as Tamisha Lachey. How you doing, baby? I'm still doing great. You hanging with us? Yeah, I'm doing good over here. Okay, that's what's up. Um, let's go into about a little bit about your pampering services. Mm -hmm. How did you get into the pampering services? Well, uh, starting with um, with the hands and feet real early on, um, I was always doing manicures and pedicures, but in 2000, I acquired my esthetician license, and that's the license to touch the skin. Okay. So it includes makeup artistry, lashes, different facial and body services, hair removal. Okay. Which, um, a funny story, I just got in trouble on the Facebook for a before and after bikini wax pic, so I had to get a whole new page. They disabled me. Um, okay. Apparently, that was pornographic. I thought it was more clinical the way that I put it. But, okay, uh, <laughs> okay. Um, but I guess it offended some people. I just wanted people to know that you have options other than shaving, which often causes dull skin, congestion, ingrown hairs, and, and problem skin. And you, you just have options for hair removal. So, okay. Um, and not real far. We're just in Ferndale on, on 7 and, uh, I'm sorry, on 9 and Livernois. So. Okay, now, um, your pampering service, now, do you travel? Yes, I also do um, private parties or okay. uh, individual travel services to homes, office or e offices or events. Like, okay. um, we donated some eyebrow arches for the breast cancer event. Okay, that's big. Yeah, we in, um, enjoy doing something like once a month that way. Um, okay. I donated some chair massages to the homeless and battered women with um, with the school that we uh, were affiliated with when we were at Salon 626. Okay. Um, so we try to do something for the community with uh, with everything that we have to offer, just our little pampering services. They make a big difference. Okay, so you're definitely giving back to the community in a major way. Uh, how do you feel about the... Uh, um, the business is supporting each other um, here in, in Detroit. Um, I just, I, I would have to say I, I hope we find more inspiration in that arena. I want to stay as positive as I can um, <laughs> with it. It's kind of a touchy topic matter being that I've been working at this for a long time in this location. Okay. Uh, it's been about 10 years, and okay. I still have to educate a lot of, of, of our black women about skin care okay. um, it's more than just hair and nails it's about the health of your skin Correct. you know so it's not always just about what you see but you may need to create a better condition for uh, uh, acne and and it's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing right. so um, just turning them on to those services has been a little bit of a challenge um, we just got to open up our minds I guess well, you're definitely an inspiration to a lot of um, black women, uh, women, period, um, who's trying to do their own thing and come up in the, in the business world. You know, uh, we definitely need more women out here like yourself. Uh, and uh, I definitely commend you on that, you know, for oh, real. Well, thank you. Um, how do 
how can people get in contact with Tamisha Lachey? You know, if listening to this interview, um, they want to get in contact with you for your services. Where are you at, and how can they get in contact with you? Well, um, they can reach me um, directly in order to schedule an appointment, and um, the number for that is area code 313-614-1290. They can also reach me at the boutique, um, off the runway boutique, which is located at 747 West Nine Mile Road in Ferndale, Michigan. And that telephone number is area code 248 546 8806. Those are the best ways to reach me. Um, there's a website for the boutique. If anyone is interested in uh, going and signing up on the A-list, then they'll be able to keep you updated about different specials or promotions that we have. Okay. And the website is www.offtherunwayboutique.com. Okay. Now, before I let you slide up out here, tell me a little bit about the natural hair care that you do that you know your hair care services well um i offer uh single and double strand twists okay. natural hair services without any um without any hair added okay. i also offer the lock maintenance services interlocking um and let me see the braids for sew-ins basic braid styles just all natural hair care is what i'm able to do uh, but we okay. also have a stylist and um, the owner of the boutique is a stylist okay. and um his name is a uh, school freeman okay. and he will be able to offer all the other services that aren't natural okay there it is right there down here on the kitchen okay the one known is Tamisha Lachey. thank you for coming in on the kitchen thanks for having and me and giving us that love and supporting each other you know again um you're definitely welcome here on the kitchen okay. anytime that you got something going on even if you don't have nothing going on you just want to come on down into the kitchen and cook some gumbo with us okay thank you're more than welcome okay and thank you for that. coming in okay Absolutely. you gonna stay around a little bit longer with us sure most definitely. Most definitely. That's what it's about, okay? You heard the one and only Tamisha Lachey right here in the kitchen, okay? Uh, we got another hot guest. I mean, a really hot guest coming up, and we're going to ready to get this kitchen uh, probably burning down by the time we get done with it, okay? So uh, stay tuned. We're going to slide into a jam, right? And we'll be right back here on the kitchen on 88.1 FM WHPR Detroit Hunt Park. Stand up. Represent. Peace. Okay.